My name's Chris, and today I'm going to talk to you about the dynamic function in Mathematica. Let's start off by defining a variable. n equals 7. Suppress the output because we don't really care to see it. Thusly, n is 7. If we ask Mathematica to print n, it says n is 7. And that's right. Right now, n is 7. But if we redefine n to be 9, and evaluate it, the output doesn't change. It's static. It doesn't change as the variable changes. Normally in Mathematica that's okay, but sometimes it's not, which is why I'm going to introduce to you a function called dynamic. If we put n in dynamic, we see it's similar to just printing n, but this has a special property. Once again, let's redefine n to be 6, and then suppress the output. Notice how the dynamic cell updates as the variable changes. This is very good and very useful. And as, as we've seen before, the static cell does not change as the variable changes. A lot of people in Mathematica use this when they're programming interfaces, such as an input field. In this one, we're going to let it dynamically update n. And we're only going to let numbers have, be acceptable in this input. n is 6. We can change it to be n is 89 and hit enter. A dynamic cell tells us, yes, it is currently 89. Um, another function of the dynamic when we're using integers is a slider. Dynamic n, because we're modifying the variable n. And we're going to restrict it for, to only go from 1 to 100 in steps of 1. As we can see, we have this nice slider. And as we slide, it changes n. It updates over here with our cell, with our input field, and also with our slider. It also works both ways. If we typed in 10 over here in the input field, it updates the slider and the cell as well. So that's a couple of the ways we can use dynamic with an integer. But it's not just used for integers. Let's define a list to be L and have in it 7, 9, 42, uh, 65, and 90. Suppress the output because we know what's in there. Let's also uh, print another dynamics cell with just L in it. That's our list. Very good. And if we append on list L the element 87, suppress the output, it updates in the dynamic cell as well. Another type of variable that this will work for is a string. String goes here. Suppress the output. Dynamic S is just the string. If we append another string, yes, right here, it also updates in the dynamic cell. So the point of this video is dynamic can update almost any type of variable you can think of. Yes, almost any type of variable you can think of.